Okay, so welcome back to Energy Plus for Beginners. And in this last video, I will show you how can we analyze the outputs from our simulation model. So in our every video that we recorded, recorded in this series of videos so far, I show you how can we model a very simple building with three thermal zones representing a residential building and I show you how could we uh, set the geometry, the materials, and how can we arrange the materials uh, into constructions, and how can we assign these constructions to the building surface details, so the ceilings, the floors, the walls. Then I show you how can we represent the windows, and also how can we include the thermal inter the thermal loads inside the building for example the people loads the lightning loads and the electric equipment loads for each thermal zone also i show you how can we uh, assign the schedules of operation for this building and then also i show you how can we model the ground like the interface with the ground and finally, I show you how can we model a very generic HVAC system, our conditioning system through ideal loads, which is this object ideal load here. And according to a thermostat, a single condition, then I show you how can we include uh, air renovation and air infiltration together with this air condition. Now, I want to show you that you can run the simulation, it's probably going to run everything fine. But now I want to show you what we can do with this simulation model. So basically, it's important that you have to tell Energy Plus what we want from the simulation. Okay, so what, what do we want with the simulation? What is the outputs? What is the simulation going to give to you? So the most important thing is to know what we want from the simulation. So you want to know what we want. So here I'm going to give you an example. It's, there is a lot of possibilities of different outputs that we can extract from Energy Plus. But basically, what we want to set is uh, everything here in the output variable. So this is very important, the output variable. So when we set uh, out objects in output variable, uh, after we run the simulation, it's going to, the, the Energy Plus is going to generate this uh, CSV file and you can access this CSV file clicking in variables here. So everything that is set here is going to appear on a file called variables, okay? So if you open this file, it's going to be something like this. So you can see that I set that I wanted from the simulation, the zone air temperature. So for example, so this, means that for each thermal zone of my simulation it's going energy plus is going to return for me the zone air temperature for each hour of the simulation so this is what's happening here these three columns here are the zone air temperature for thermal zone one two and three for each hour of the entire year okay so it's going to be a lot of records okay 8,760 records. So this is, this is it. This, okay, so another example for the output is, output variable is uh, the zone ideal loads outputs. So we can have also ideal load systems for heating and ideal loads for cooling. So it's going to be also in variables. So let's go back to the to the file and we're going to have the ideal loads ideal loads for heating and for cooling for each one of the thermal low thermal zones that has uh air conditioning implemented okay so let's see let's plot a little a very very simple uh graph here we're going to plot this graph here for one day okay and we can see that this is the pattern of the heating thermal loads on the 
on the on the thermal zone one for this simulation. Okay. Yeah, this is one of one of the outputs that we want. Okay, so if we want something more uh, summarized, we can use the output output table summary report. So basically, we can specify here, but one that I really recommend to use is our summary. So you can just let our summary here, and what's going to happen is <clears throat> that in this out this button here called tables, Energy Plus will generate an, an H HTML file, which is this one. And in this HTML file, we have a summary of a lot of contents, a lot of tables for our simulation, okay? Uh, for example, these first ones are very important. For example, site and source energy, site to source energy conversion factors. Also, we have the building characteristics, building area. Uh, end uses is one of the most important, I guess, because we can have like the share of how much energy is going to use it according to each end use. But we can also go here in table of contents and we have a summary of a lot of information from our model in our simulation, okay? For example, if I want an envelope summary, I can go here and I can have, for example, the U factor, which is the thermal transmittance with no film or with film uh, for every, every wall, every external wall, every ceiling and everything. So I know everything what's happening, okay? This is just an example, and I really recommend you to explore these outputs files and understand a little understand a little bit what Energy Plus can provide you with. We have also some specifications that we can get for the output. For example, we can set output variable dictionary, so we can put regular or IDF. And we can also set output control table style so we can adjust the unities. So this is very important. Sometimes uh, the, the default configuration for Energy Plus is to present the energy unities in joules. But I really like to work with the conversion from joules to kilowatt hour because it's more tangible for me. But whatever, you can use whatever you want. And that's it. Also, you can have like several output variables and you can also adjust like the, report, the reporting frequency. You can have orally, detail, uh, time step. We can have annual, so it's going to be just one value. And let's say that if we want to create a new object here, there is a list of a lot of outputs that we can select, okay? So it really depends on how is going to be your analysis, what you are analyzing, okay? It's important to mention that this list only appears after you run the first simulation. So if you are, if you didn't run any simulation, there is going to be no list here because this list is generated in a file called, I'm going to show you, a file called RDD. So RDD is, uh, is this basically a text file with the all possible outputs from energy plus okay so we have to run the simulation again and energy plus is going to generate this file then the idf is going to turn available this list okay so i guess this is it thank you very much for joining me in this course and subscribe if you want to see more contents like this and tell me if you want to see specific things that it's possible to use in energy plus daylighting or natural ventilation, for example. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And bye.